Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a repair for you. This is a baby monitor camera that belongs to my brother. And the complaint that they got with it is that when plugged in, it's not receiving power unless the connector is specifically aligned with the camera. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but when I move the connector at a specific angle, there is a small light just down here that powers on or off. Let me try and zoom in to show you that. And I also reduced the lights that I have. So the light is just over here. So you can see it when I move it to a specific position, then it lights up. Otherwise it stays off and this was causing issues to my brother and this thing would then immediately disconnect while they were monitoring my nephew while he was asleep so let's try and figure out if we can go inside here and figure out how this thing works i'm guessing this would be this would have screws underneath let's check that and before going any further let's thanks today's sponsor which is ultim designer ultim 365 and octopart Ever since I started using Altium Designer, I elevated my prototypes in a whole different level where instead of just using breadboards, I'm now able to design PCBs for my projects. With its unified design environment, I seamlessly manage everything from schematic creation to PCB layout and the eCAD integration that Altium Designer offers gives me a path that I can explore to even further improve the prototypes into full products. I start all of my projects in Altium 365 to immediately get access to centralized cloud storage automatic version control, and advanced library management features. Being able to access real-time components data and track the project history easily has made my work more efficient than ever before. When it comes to sourcing components, Octopart is my go-to search engine. It gives me the power to compare bulk pricing, analyze up-to-date inventory data, and look over valuable lifecycle information on electronic components. Plus, having access to critical documentation when needed is a huge time saver. By combining the unified design process of Altium Designer, the advanced collaboration features of Altium 365, and the intelligent component sourcing from Octopart, I've been able to dramatically change my electronic design work. Check out the link in the video description for a free trial of Altium Designer and a 25% discount on every new license. So yes, we have a screw there. Okay, so all of the screws are out. Are they gonna be any clips? No, we're off. So I can see the barrel check there. Let's pop this circuit board. Okay. And as I thought, the jack here is loose. Let me zoom in. All of the pins are just broken from the from the solder down below. Now, let's heat up the iron and resolder those. Thank you. 
and those contacts are now nicely soldered in place that was a bit difficult to solder because of this large ground plane that was sucking a lot of heat but once it got warm then it was okay now let's do a bit of cleanup with some IPA this would remove any remaining flux on the board and that looks nice and clean now let's put everything together getting the push button here to line up with the hole is a bit tricky but yeah with the right angle then it goes in nicely this is the uh, i'm guessing our uh, antenna for a remote or some sort let's add the screws okay and before going any further let's test it out and we have the green light There it is. It's a bit faded, but I'll remove the plug. There it goes. And if I connect it again, there it comes. And it no longer goes off when I move the cable. So let's return the cover. And with that, this is one more item that we successfully fixed on the channel. I have a full playlist down below with uh, repairs like this one or similar. So if you're interested in such things, then be sure to check it out. Make sure to subscribe for more projects and more videos regarding electronics and coding. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.